gonna test this for a uh, Yu Gi Oh Nightmare Troubadour. Everyone survived, it's all that matters. Yep, and you know who saved us in the end? Male girl. RNG? Male girl. <laughs> RNG, well, I mean, I guess because the AI decided to not attack us, that was good for us. Yeah, but, excuse me. But, all right. So we're going to end this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed this little suspenseful half-hour gym run. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, you need 10-minute gym run, 20-minute code of life. 20-minute deciding what the fuck we're going to do for the next turn. <laughs> Anyways. Not even competitive Pokemon has that much thought put into it. They don't even give you that. The game doesn't even give you that much thought. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next time, where we do more Moemon related things. We're not gonna die. Probably. Uh, Thank you all for watching, and have a good kill us. And have a good night. Bye bye. Hmm. Uh huh. Should be with a couple, huh? There we go, found the ETH. And whose house is this? Sea Cottage. Bill lives here. So it's like, he's also like. Did, that, did someone laugh drag? I don't know. Because I remember checking the comments. I, I don't know. Dancing. But like, I'm sure the same person is probably also a diehard Sonic.exe fanboy. It's just. Watching this whole episode, looking for something, it's being like, Chris, Christian said an offensive term. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post about this on my Twitter. Huh, look at that. Three, re, three retweets. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Hashtag Marina, best girl. Hashtag Pearl is better. Shut the fuck up. Hashtag Pearl is best girl. Pearl is shit. No. Pearl is shit. Nah. You play the game. The Rockets game took over the building, and I, I, I even I'm more correct about the game than you are. I don't even. The man next to me, he's such a coward. Wow, okay. They must have targeted Silk for our Pokemon products, as opposed to your, uh, what other what other products. Okay, last battle, and then that'll be it. I'm one of the four rock... It, it, okay. I oh, yeah, on. so before we end this episode, what? I guess we should talk about that in the room with the rival, there's that girl mm -hmm. that gives us a Lapras. Isn't it a guy? I don't know. Pretty sure it's a guy. Someone gives us a Lapras. So, okay. we can't be sad as Saffron City or Silco. Silco? Yeah, I'd say. Snare. Give them a Pokedex list. Can't even get anything in... Well, I guess there's just a Hitmon chain. Hit 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 I, I count Lapras as Silk, though, honestly. Yeah. Hey, if you don't like it, I don't care. Send me an angry letter. I'll, ooh, look at Machoke. Look at that you little... Wow. Hot damn. That's a that's a cute little Machoke right there. We got the thumbnail Pokemon. That's Machoke her. Wow. And that is how you end, the, end an episode with an uncomfortable feeling. Right, well, now if anyone's got anything to tweet about, it's, uh... I'm sure there's someone that, like, someone's side of the comments, like, Really, because we, you make oh, wow, fun of... Okay, yeah, that's, uh... Let's, uh, let's just, uh... Break, 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 faster. Her crack has 100% accuracy? Yes. Oh. Oopsie, I thought it was, like, 95 or something for a second. No. Anyways, I was saying, I'm, I'm sure there's someone writing a comment right now, it's like, Really, because we... You freaking make a joke like that after you made fun of, like, the necrophiliac guy earlier. I don't care. Hmm. Oh, it sounds Flame pretty good. Flame out. Flame out. Flame out. Is he, like, the human torch turning off? I don't know. That's weird. Okay, anyways, we're going to end this episode now. It was a, a mess of everything. Yeah, it, it was a, basically two episodes edited together. We insulted a lot of people. I don't care. What are they going to do? <laughs> no, I don't believe you. Or strong word and comment, and then post that you on their Twitter and uh, this channel is highly. Let's see, I wonder if Ryan. Later, later. Later, later. Wherever I miss, yes, I'm gonna rewind it, cause that's necessary. Battle should evolve to Abra, so. Whoa, Z. Yeah, definitely 
should evolve him. Alright, he's got a Machop. I've got Delta. Delta, fly on there and call some havoc. Ratty Chap. Man, if that's a crit, that is gonna KO. Alright, no crit, good. Good, good, good. Level 16, alright. Drowsy. Draw. Drowsy. Ah. Actually, I'm gonna switch to Rocky. Rocky D. Alright. Hypnosis. Draw. Draw. Drowsy. Drowsy. Another one should do it. Hypnosis, of course. I'm going to speed through this because who cares. Confusion, ha! Back to eight. There we go. Alright. Yeah, you better give up. Go. Warp Z has evolved into a cadet and should learn confusion. There we are. Okay, I'll turn T in my stole. And if you try to give a dig back, he'll say I figure it was loss is loss. So. That TM is all ours. Well, I think that's enough here for Pokemon and Leaf Green, so I'm going to hurry up here real quick. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to switch over to Nightmare Troubadour after saving. And now our Pokedex is at 20, so that's awesome. There we go. Alright, switching over to Nightmare Troubadour now. I'm going to test this out, so. I'll commentate the duel, just, just for fun. Just to see how it goes, so. Here we are, and downloads, no, let's see, go to computer, right, right, dun 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 dun, program, yeah, it's moving away, ooh la la, alright, Nightmare Troubadour, here we go. Let's give it a go. Konami presents This is Let's Play Nightmare Troubadour. Alright. And continue we shall. Alright, let's do it. Door leaving outside. This will let you go outside and find duelists to fight. So, so in this game, basically the gist is is uh, it's sort of a, a red light, green light. See if it's green, that means there's a duelist nearby. And if you zoom in, you know, try to hone in closer, eventually it'll get red, and you'll find a duelist. So this is Mako Tsunami. Let's duel him. I always duel my best cards to show the Kraken of respect to my opponents. Now let's duel. Alright, Mako, let's do it, man. Music is actually a little slower on this emulator than it normally is, uh, which is sort of unfortunate, but maybe sort of a blessing in disguise because, you know, that way it won't get copyright striked or anything. So, wow, really? Well, and you play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first here, but for some reason we keep tying. Aha! 
Mako Big Hall is the name of his today. Big Hall, y'all. And I'm going with the killer Alpha, Alpha Stone. Which basically features the Alphabet series of cards. Uh, and, <laughs> wow, that's a lucky hand. We just happened to get all three. Um, Alphabet series, by that I mean X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Metal Tank, as you can see there. So, pretty simple on the controls. You just press uh, A to select your card, and then, uh, for, for example, we'll set Meteor Rain down. Uh, I'll probably set Limiter Removal down. And actually, for my first move, I'm going to go with Cyber Pop uh, on defense. That'll be a good start. Cyber Jar's got kind of a, a unique special effect. Uh, basically, when it's flipped, it'll destroy everything on the field, and then... Uh, you uh, take a peek at the, both players, take a peek at the top five cards on their deck. Summon the level fours or lower. Great card. But this card's been banned for as long as I can remember, so. Fun to use, though. <sighs> if you ever played this game or similar older games. So. Alright, what's he got? Legendary Fishman. Kairushin, so you can't play that either. Fortress Well, wow. So we're. We played that kind of at a good time. Giant Red Sea Snake. 1800. Uh, kind of an old school beat monster. And Tornado Wall. Are his cards to watch out for. Ooh, we got Mirror Force. That's cool. Mechanical Chaser. So obviously I can play that in attack mode. Because this Sea Snake can't do it. So. And what else? Pot of Greed. Hell yeah. Z Metal Tank. Unfortunately, I'll have to put this... Well, I guess I could put it in attack mode, since I have low inner mobile, but... Eh. I'll save limiter for a really, you know, like, tight situation. So, Spirit Reaper, nice. So, set that. And that'll be it for our five. So, overall, who got the better five? Um, I guess in the long run, he did, but, you know, for right now, we did, so... That's cool. Nah, and I can play a card. So he's gonna kill our Z Metal Tank. So. Yeah, and this is one of the slower themes, but again, I think the music is something messed up a little, because it's not this slow, but music overall is pretty good in this game. So, one of those face downs, I'm gonna assume, is Tornado Wall. The other? Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, that's the other one, Raigeki Break. So there you go. Uh, good card. Let's them destroy one card. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and. Yeah, let that go through. Alright. Uh, kind of not what I wanted, but since we got frontline base, actually, we're good. So, this is the main strategy with this deck is play frontline base, and that way you can speed summon your uh, Union monsters. And that's really the best way to get this fusion through. So, special summon Y Dragon in. Yeah. And then I'll normal summon X Head Cannon. There we go. And uh, I'll go ahead and use its. Now, I could play XY Dragon, as you can see from the fusion deck. But the one I like to play most is XYZ, obviously, because it can destroy any card. So. But what I will do is use its union effect, equipment attachment, and that'll boost by 400. So, should be able to get over his sea snake now. So that's good. And now nah, I'm not going to play anything. So. Good music, man. So Mako will take 400 damage. <laughs> I like the faces they make when they, they take damage. You can you can see his face there is kind of clenched, like Grr. my life points. Uh, yeah, I you know what I will set Mirror Force to protect just in case. So. There we go. All right, what are you gonna do, Mako? Hmm. So he's got a Sinister Serpent. That's a good card. Basically, it's, if it's in the graveyard, you're in your standby phase, you can add to your hand. So, uh, Really? Wow, he's going to summon Great White. Okay. 
Alright, I'm fine with that, because Spirit Reaper is just gonna absorb the damage. So, sweet. Looks like we'll be able to call out XYZ Dragon Cannon this turn. So that's cool. Yeah, like I gotta say, this looks pretty good so far. Alright, he's gonna end his turn. So we didn't need to play Mirror Force there. No Fortress Will, or something crazy coming out. Alright, well this turn it looks like I'm gonna play... You know what, I'll use Frontline Base. Unzi Metal Tank. Because it looks like I'm gonna play XYZ, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and play Meteor Rain now. Although, I guess I didn't need to play it. But I really just want to play Pot of Greed, so I probably should have done that last turn before setting Mirror Force, but that's all good. Ooh, this is a good combo on my deck. Uh, premature Burial and Giant Tree Nade. Basically, it'll let me use Premature Burial twice. Uh, yeah, I'll have to pay, you know, twice the points, but it's still a very good combo, so. Alright, and then to play it, all you do is go to the Fusion deck, and then select... XYZ Dragon Cannon. And I like to select Y Dragon Cannon first since it's attached here. So, there we go. And this will fuse the three legendary magnetic monsters. Yeah. I like the remove from play animation too. I don't know why. I just do. Fusion Ha! And there it is, folks. XYZ Dragon Cannon. Booyah, Mako. What you got? Yeah. And yeah, I'll use that special effect right now. You betcha. So, I'll, basically, it's effect. You discard one card, and you can destroy any other card. So, I'll destroy his face down. Yep. And I was turning it a wall, like I thought. And I'm not going to destroy Giant... Usually with this effect, I like to destroy cards you can't see, you know what I mean? Because, like, the reason I didn't destroy Great White there, I mean, yeah, I could have done more with a direct attack, but still, in my opinion, it's better to destroy what you can see as opposed to, you know, what you can't see, so. And that's good damage. Boom! I, I like that shattering animation, too. That's pretty cool. Also, this game is a... Uh... Oh, I'm just checking my graveyard here, in case I want to use Premature. But, uh, yeah, you c this game does have time-based effects, and actually, if you look in the background of the duel there, it actually looks like it's evening time, you know, a little bit, because, you know, in the back it has, like, I don't know, it kind of looks like sunset, so... I don't, know, it's, I don't know, it's just pretty interesting to me. Pretty interesting that that actually works, so... Ooh, Luminous Spark. Good, good card. Basically what this does is uh, boost the attack of all light monsters on the field by 500. So, that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do here is actually... I'm going to play the Premature Burial combo I talked about. Because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use XYZ's effect. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to return, you know, his spells and traps, make sure they're not any problem. But, by doing the combo now, um, you know, I'll return frontline base to my hand, which, you know, I'm not really using right now. So, as well as the other cards I happen to have face down. Ooh, Torrential Tribute. That is a good card, my friend. That is good. Uh... Wow, that is going to kill my field, big time. So, he made a really good play there. Man. I sort of regret using Premature Burial now. Oh, and he had Sand Game, wow. Not bad. So with that, he could take Manju. Oh, no, he took Jellyfish. I thought he would take Manju and search for his uh, Ritual card. Because I know he has his... Uh... Wow, that really screwed our field. Okay. Well done, Mako. I should have destroyed your cards when I had the chance. That's all good, though. We still got Mirror Force down, so I'm not too worried about, you know, 
about the field. Plus, we still got plenty of monsters in our deck. And limiter removal, so... Yeah. Not... You know, too worried. We'll be alright. Alright, Mikko. Magic Jammer. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I might want to use this, so... I'll put it face down. Alright. And I might use Mirror Force this turn. Although, I might wait, actually. I might wait till... See what he does here. Yeah, jellyfish. See, that's three thousand damage. So, yeah, it'll take us down to twenty four hundred. But I think I'll keep mirror force. That way, I know I'm guaranteed at least uh, one more turn. So, well, well, actually two, pretty much. So, we'll be all right. Man, Torrential Tribute. That is a powerful card. I'd say. Alright. Draw. Last Wheel. Good card. Uh, if anything sent to your graveyard, you can use that card and special summon out a monster. Usually I use it because you can call out one of the uh, XYZ parts. So, really quickly. And he's just going all out here, so... Time for Mirror Force. Alright, let's see if you can recover from this, Mako. Trap card. Sacred Barrier. Mirror Force. Take that. Take that. And the cards just explode. That's great. Alright. So we probably earned ourselves a couple extra turns. Wait, not drawing any monsters right now. Yeah, he definitely played Torrential Tribute to the best ability. Definitely. Sinister Serpent? Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about that at all, dude. I'll take that 300. NBD. No big deal. Alright. Wow, why would you ever play that card in attack mode? I don't know. It's just... Alright, so we drew a graceful charity. Really good. Let you draw three cards this card too. So. Alright. Ooh. So we got a revival combo here. Uh, I can basically discard Vampire Lord. And I'll discard one other card. And with how tight. How little I'm running on monsters. I'm thinking not on Last Wheel. But I will discard. I'll discard Bright Castle. Yeah. Alright, so with this we can revive uh, Vampire Lord. And, uh, oops. Uh, I want to set this Tornado as well. Yeah, with this we can revive Vampire Lord and bring him back to block with Call of the Haunted. So that's good. That's really good. Yeah, so he's going to tribute for, ooh, Amphibian Beast. Not bad, man. Not bad. So I'm gonna have to... Well, you know what? No, 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 here's what I can do. So I can call the Haunted for uh, something else I'm thinking of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. If I call the Haunted Mechanical Chaser here, I still got limiter removal, so yeah, he's not gonna see that coming. Damage set, all right, limiter removal. Let's do it. Charge it up. Wow, he made a good play there. I thought he would sacrifice for Kyrie Shin or a uh, legendary fisherman, but no, that was pretty good. Do, do. Down to fifty one hundred, Mako. Miss the tsunami. And our mechanical chaser goes boom. That's okay. That was a good turn. Alright, draw. Spirit Reaper. Great. Perfect. That's exactly what we need right now is to stall. Stall to the wall. And I don't know what his face down is. He doesn't seem to want to play it, so I'm gonna assume it's nothing dangerous like torrential tribute. 
Or maybe it is, and I'm just uh, second guessing myself. Giant Red. Alright. Attack. Oh, Steel Shield. Yeah, you do that. It doesn't matter, man. We've got the Strats. We've got the Spirit Reaper Strats. So, ha! Yeah, Spirit Reaper. Yeah. Alright, score is 2151, so that's a pretty good duel. Man, good music in this game. Alright, my turn. What are we gonna get? Mechanical Chaser. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and play this because. Hmm. That's a good point. I could use Giant True Nade. You know, just to be safe, and I think I will. Yeah. I'll use Giant True Nade to return all cards to the hand. So. There we go. And then I'll sit back down. Uh, Dust Tornado and Magic Jamper. I'll keep Frontline Base in my hand because if I need to, I can uh, discard that to negate one of its cards. So that's good. Dun, dun. And I win by 50, bro. 50. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mako's giving us a pretty good duel, but uh, duels are like this. They are, they are long, so be prepared in this let's play for that. <laughs> a legendary ocean. Hmm. Good card. Uh, basically, this is his main field card, and it can cause some havoc because it reduces the levels by one. Uh, I could negate it, but honestly what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go because I can just play Luminous Spark and my field card will get rid of his field card, so yeah, I might, you know, take a big monster because of that, yeah, Kairu Shin, but actually, I can stop Kairu Shin, can't I? I can, because here's what I'll do is I'll play Dust Tornado as he attacks, and that way, Legendary Ocean is gone. And, uh, yeah, his monster is dead. So that's good. That's really good. <laughs> Catch you again, Mako. By 50, bro. 50. Goody. Alright. Well, so far, it's going pretty good. Shatter. And he's still got that one face down, which we don't know what it is. So. All right. Well, if I knew he was gonna, if I if I knew I was gonna draw another luminous spark, I would have just used magic jammer. But eh, it's okay. Magic jammer's still good because we know he has at least one magic card, and that is steel shell. So that's good. Alright, Mako, your time. What are you gonna do, man? Great White. I guess he's going for the Steel Shell. Yeah, so. This time I will use Magic Gamma. Do. Magic Kaijo. And, eh, I'll discard Frontline Base, because, I mean, we really don't have any Union, union Monsters right now, so. Yeah. Not really necessary to keep. Uh -huh. Poor Mako. Well, that Spirit Reaper sure helped us make a comeback, I tell you that. Alright, so I'll summon X Head Cannon. Cannon Vada. And now I'll play our Field Spell. Luminous Spark, because that helps X Head Cannon. He's a light monster. So, that's pretty good. Wham! Alright. Dun, 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 dun. Great music, man. Yeah, this is definitely slowed down because I remember the music being just a little faster. But it, it's okay. I mean, the gameplay is still. It's it's not slowed down by too much, you know. So. 
And there we go. Just like that, we are back in the game. 600 left, man. Alright, let's do it. I end my turn, Miko. What are you gonna do, man? Set a card. Alright, setting two cards. Alright, so unless this face down's like Mirror Force, we might have this, you know. This could be game, so. And it's face down, it could be something as small as, you know, Sinister Serpent. Ah, see? Called it. So, there you go. So if this attack goes through, we should win with the uh, x -Head Cannon's direct attack. Sinister Serpent Smash. Oh, Call of the Haunted. Good move, dude. Good move. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop my attack now. Wow. Well, he definitely saved himself there. He definitely... Because we kind of put him in a corner, but that definitely helped him out there. So yeah, he'll bring back Sanchez Serpent. Alright. Not bad, Mako. Not bad. Alright. And he goes for Mechanical Chaser, so... Hmm. Looks like I maybe should have kept Bright Castle, because I could put that on x -Head Cannon, but... Eh. What, do, what do they say? Hindsight? 2020? Yeah. Alright. Nice other one, wow. Now I could switch x -Head Cannon to Defense Mode. Yeah, that, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll switch it to defense mode. Uh, so, because we got another one. Really, if we can do just 600 points of damage, then I'll summon the other one I have in my hand. And then he'll be... Oh, this is not good, mind you. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he can do his ritual now. So, that is not good. Mind you the 10,000. Hmm. This might be a problem. Oh, dude, you're so stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> I can't believe he just did that, dude. He has only 600 life points left. And he, and he summoned freaking Sinister Serpent in attack mode. Wow. Big mistake by the AI right big mistake. Alright, bro. Unless you got, like, the gate attack face down. I win. Wow. <laughs> oh, Mako. You lose, my friend. Sorry. Wow. That shouldn't have happened. Okay. And when you win, you get KC points, which you can use for points at the shop. We get 20 for playing XYZ Dragon Cannon, so that's cool. Alright. I admit my loss. Alright guys, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode here. Uh, it's nighttime now, so I'm going to probably go back home and save. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.